I'm gonna show you how I set the timing on a small block Chevy. I had to move the distributor vacuum out of the way when I installed these valve covers. So now I gotta retime it. And to retime it, you gotta loosen the distributor hold down bolt. I gotta loosen that up. My vehicle is a uh, 15 millimeter. You just loosen that up, then you could mess around with the distributor and spin it left and right. There is a timing tab right there. The flashlight's pointing right at it. And you can see the timing mark, the white line. So you take your timing light, you hook it up to your battery. Then you take this, and you hook it up to your number one cylinder, spark plug wire. Like that. Then you'll have the car running. And you make sure your uh, wires don't get caught in the fan or anything like that. Then you just hold down the trigger and you try to eyeball where that line matches up to the middle of the distributor and then here on this timing light you could control it right now i got to set at 12 degrees which that's pretty normal for a small block chevy pretty good timing to start with at idle once the engine is fully warmed up and the choke is off and everything and then you're gonna want to play with the distributor and just move it left or right and look at your timing mark and line it up as best as you can with a timing tab and you'll have it at zero degrees zero degrees on the timing tab which mine is already marked with a white line it's already marked white and my balancer is marked with the white line also so then I could just adjust right here on the gun how many degrees I want say I want it at 30 degrees I'll just set it at 30 and then I'll just look down here and make sure my timing marks line up I'm not a mechanic I'm not a professional but that's how I do it and it works best for me I just went ahead and wrapped this underneath this uh, AC line to keep it from getting in the fan because it's getting too close to the damn fan. You gotta be at this at a certain angle so you can see both marks. You gotta be, your head has to be like 
right here, just looking at it like this. set the base timing I'll say you want total timing which is for optimum performance on this vehicle I have changed the springs on the distributor to lighter springs and my advance my mechanical advance on the timing is all in at about like 2500 rpm if I remember correctly or maybe even 2000 rpm uh, if your vehicle has heavier springs or stock springs, your timing advance, mechanical advance, will be all in maybe like at 3,000, 3,500 RPM. I don't know, maybe 4,000 RPM. So for the total timing, I'm just gonna go up to the carburetor and idle it all the way up to about 2500 rpm and then i'm gonna check my with my timing light make sure i have about 32 degrees or something like that so the optimal timing for a small block chevy for performance is between 34 and 36 degrees so that's what i'm going to be aiming at turn the car off so you guys could hear me better so i'm going to come over here to my gun Right now I got the initial timing set at like 10 degrees or something like that. Or actually 12 degrees. And uh, I'm going to come over here and set it to 34 degrees. Set it to 34 degrees. And on my carburetor, I got an Edelbrock. I'm going to adjust the idle up a lot set it up to about 2500 rpm we're only at a thousand now we're at 2000 rpm Did that I had it up at like 2800 rpm and I had my light at uh, 30 degrees or uh, 34 degrees I mean and I set the timing it was pretty close already I mean it's very close already the neighbors must love me with all this noise I'm making now I'm gonna check the base timing again I'm just curious to see what it's at after I just did the total timing. I got it set at uh, 12 degrees right now on the gun. Now we're gonna see. The total timing is at 12 degrees, so I'm happy with it. I mean, the initial timing is set at 12 degrees, so I'm happy with that. I got initial at 12 and total at 34. So, I got it set. Now that we have the timing set, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the hold on bolt. The engine's still hot. I waited about 20 minutes, but it's still hot. 